DJI is about to drop the Avatar 360, their first ever drone with a built-in 360 camera. And all signs point to a release before Christmas. So in this video, I'll share everything we know so far, including insider leaks that only a few people know at this stage. And I will also compare it to the new anti-gravity A1 because both are trying to become the very first real 360 drone for creators. Things are getting really interesting, guys. Let's dive in. In the last couple of weeks, we've seen something pretty big. The DJI Avatar 360 has actually shown up in the FCC database with its real name on the label and a new rotating camera module. That basically means this drone is real, it's been tested, and DJI is getting everything ready to sell it, most likely before Christmas if they follow the usual timing. From the leaks and FCC docs, the Avatar 360 looks like a hybrid FPV 360 drone. So you'll have a dual lens camera for 360 videos, plus the option to rotate the camera into a classic forward-facing FPV mode for normal flying. At the same time, Insta360 has already made the first move with their first drone that was just released, the Anti-Gravity A1. It's got an interesting design with dual lenses cameras on top and bottom that shoots 8K 360 video at 30 FPS. The weight stays under 250 grams with the standard battery. So in many countries you can fly it without license. It also comes with its own vision goggles and a grip motion controller. So you can fly it FPV style and look around in 360 while you're in the air. Now, this is the biggest difference on paper. Anti-Gravity A1 is a pure 360 drone. It's always recording the full sphere in 8K and you reframe everything later in post. DJI Avatar 360, from what we've known so far, is more of a two-in-one drone. You get 8K 360 videos when both lenses are active, but you can also flip into a more traditional FPV mode with a single forward lens with higher frame rates for fast action. That's the mode people like me will use a lot when chasing bikes, diving cliffs, or flying through tight spaces. One big advantage DJI has over anti-gravity right now is flight performance. DJI already makes the best consumer drones in the world. We've just seen it with the DJI Neo 2, and it's insane. If you haven't seen that video, check it out later. And that same tech is coming straight into the Avatar 360, but with a twist. You'll get full FPV support with DJI goggles and the Motion 3 controller, plus advanced obstacle avoidance, especially when flying in 360 mode. So if you're flying through trees, under a bridge, or chasing fast-moving subjects, the drone should help keep you safe, while still letting you fly like a real FPV pilot. And if you're wondering about its size and weight, the Avatar 360 will likely be a little heavier than Anti-Gravity A1, which is just 250 grams. I'm assuming this because the Avatar 2 was already over 370 grams and only had one camera. Not a huge deal for most people, but it means a little more paperwork in some countries with strict regulations. The good news is that the extra size means more power. Now, based on the latest battery label leaks, flight time should jump up to around 25 minutes, which is longer than the Avatar 2. And we might even get bigger internal storage. But when is the Avatar 360 actually coming out? And how much is it going to cost? Well, all the signs are pointing to a launch before Christmas. DJI doesn't send a product to the FCC unless they're basically ready to sell it. So the most realistic dates right now look like December 16th or 18th. We should expect a price between 800 to 1100 US dollars, depending on the bundle. And if you already own Goggles 3 or a Motion Controller 3, you might just buy the drone alone and save a lot of money. Now the big question, would you get the DJI Avatar 360 or the Anti-Gravity A1? Well, it really depends on the type of creator you are. If you want the simplest and most point and shoot 360 experience, the Anti-Gravity A1 makes a lot of sense. But if you want versatility and you love the idea of FPV, then the Avatar 360 looks like the better choice. You can fly fast in FPV mode and switch into 360 mode whenever you want. I'm personally super excited for the Avatar 360 because it's two drones in one and that's huge for creators like us. But honestly, we still need to see them side by side in the real world. And I'll be testing both here on the channel as soon as possible, so subscribers won't miss out. If you love drones, you should definitely watch this video here. I tested the new Neo 2 and it's insane. 